Alrighty, welcome back guys and girls. The van is ready to go. Well, she's actually not ready to go. I have to take out all the stuff that I got like three or four days ago. I think at the auction. I still had that in the van. I dropped that off at the warehouse. I went to a couple rummage sales recently and uh, today I drove by one and it said free rummage outside. So uh, I was <laughs> I was grabbing stuff like uh, some flea market items. I was like, you know what? I should probably grab the metal stuff. And then I started talking to the guy who uh, you must work at the church or go to the church and he was saying that everything that people don't take they either have to throw out or someone comes in and takes it all but they have to pay them so i was like well I'm, i'll take the scrap metal like anything i can scrap he's like go ahead because that's gonna be more money that we're gonna have to pay to get rid of uh so i grabbed pretty much all the metal i could that was non-ferrous there was a lot of heavy light iron kind of things that um maybe i'll <clears throat> maybe i'll stop by and try to try to grab on the way out this is actually really nice i'm not going to scrap this they only had it at 50 cents i didn't see this when i was there i would have definitely grabbed this for 50 cents so i threw a small donation uh and got a bunch of dvds and cds which i'll probably do to declutter that's actually a really nice piece and i want to show that to you guys because all this stuff is free treasure and all the stuff that was or everything that i got was going to the landfill essentially or somewhere else got some more yardsticks those always are a hot commodity but check out that it's a whole picnic set i don't know how well that's going to show up but uh 60 bucks it looks like it was in an antique store it's looks like it's fully complete uh they had 25 bucks on that a sticker on for 25 bucks and it didn't sell so is what it is if you guys are new to the channel what we pretty much do in today's video is we go out it's trash day in a couple towns we try to find interesting things we can reuse resell or take to the scrapyard saving the earth one piece of junk at a time so let's go out there and let's see what's in the trash today all right well looks like we got a nice pile starting well i don't know what just happened there uh third of four ways on let's start grabbing some stuff here Probably shouldn't be. Probably don't want to run over that. So I'll save someone else's headache down the road. This looks like an issue. Empty. Got some Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Also, oh, like a bookend. Oh, it's broken. Can't use that. This is all scrap metal, but this is going to be really hard to grab. So I'm not going to grab this piece. I will grab this. This is going to sell. The chandelier in here might sell. Now I'll grab what I can grab. Wow, this thing is way a ton. Holy macro. Do not want to <laughs> break this. Well, oh, that's gonna be a problem. That's full of cement. They usually don't take that or they take it for free. Because I don't think you can melt down cement. I don't know if that's scrap or that's their garbage can. I don't think it's a garbage can, but I'm not going to take it because I don't know. That's a nice Craftsman old uh, push mower, real mower. Got a basketball and a bunch of broken glass. All right. That uh, basket isn't bad, the bin. Tub is the right word. Break. This is like the third time I ever used my brake. My emergency brake, that is. I use my I use my brake a lot. And now, just down the road, this is where I found that Jiminy Cricket thing. Don't need a bar stool, and that's for a toilet. Speaker over here. What's all this stuff? That's like party stuff. Sometimes these fetch good money just for parts. So I'll grab this. 
and hopefully it won't break. All right, possibly a mystery box over here. Possible mystery box. Some inner compartment. That probably was nice. Small table. Me. No. This is a weird thing. Like usually these are plastic and everyone's been like, oh no, they're metal. Sometimes they're plastic, sometimes they're metal. It's like the first time I think I've ever found them that they're actually metal. Which is weird. They're supposed to be aluminum, so if this thing sticks, well they're not, they're iron. Cheese. Gotta save the earth somehow. And sometimes these are brass, but I bet they're iron as well. As a cop just passes me, so it is what it is. Ugh. I gotta pretty much go that way, so I gotta follow the cop. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. It's garbage picking illegal. The thing about that guy, he's a university police officer, so I don't think he can. I don't think he has jurisdiction over the town, considering the town or the university is private. So he doesn't. He can't issue me a ticket anyway. I don't think. If it's a public institution, I think he can. Who knows? Out here, same in the earth. Bit by bit. Wait for this car to go by. The person was eyeing my trash. I parked way too close to the guy behind me also. Uh, what do we got here? Dog crate seen better days. They sell. What is this? Hmm. Oh, it's missing it. Oh. It's missing the glass over there. That's just a shelf. I think it's a top to a Hoosier. Or top to something. I just don't know what you really use it for. It would be like a display case of some sort. I don't know. Think about it. Actually, you know what? I'll grab it. I'll grab it, I'll grab it. Because if I don't grab it, the more I hear about not grabbing it. And if I leave it there, the more I feel bad. Because I left it there. I just gotta drag it across the road. If I don't get smoked by a car, let's keep that open there. It's definitely made of like oak or something. It's not even that heavy. That's kind of heavy. And it's like a highway, this road. Oh, well, hope somebody wants it. It's nice. It's, it's, I think it's an antique. It's like the hardware on it's not new. Definitely has its fair share of flaws. It's nice. Always intrigued when I see the sign free stuff. 
it's all like kid stuff. Can't use much of that. I've seen this from afar. <laughs> Lots of bags. Don't need those. We got some scrap. Now I guess I have to kind of go through the side door because I have that. Might even just be a cabinet. Might be the right word. The old master forge. Man. <laughs> this thing has a huge hole in the bottom of it. Like somebody just <laughs> punched right through it. Ah, there you go. Somebody ever set something on a trash can, it probably means that it's valuable. What is this? This is... I guess that's like a thermos. And this goes on the back of a bike. So on to now town now on to town number two. Uh, do like three towns usually, so this is town number all right, this is town number two. Uh, this is a town with the automated garbage pickup. So, I don't know, I watch all these other scrapping videos on YouTube and I see a lot of people who have automated, you know, garbage pickup. This guy's actually had this thing out here for four or five weeks. I see people who, who like do these garbage picking things and they find stuff. I, I never find anything in these towns because all the stuff is thrown into that dumpster. Frequently, uh, or sparingly might be the right word, a couple weeks ago I found a bunch of bikes here, a bunch of scrap metal, you guys might remember that video. We got some stuff here on the left. So like they don't even, they don't pick up that stuff. That's You can imagine this. I started off the day with brand new gloves and they already have rust on them. And it's really chilly out. I haven't adjusted my camera. This is also the first day that I'm using a GoPro Hero 7 for a garbage picking video. You guys might remember I got it a while back. It's taken me forever just to even unpack it. This one's... <laughs> so I don't have to embarrass myself here. This thing's already flat. You guys know me. I don't really do much uh, ironing. And that thing, whenever it opens up, forget it. That thing is just getting smashed back into its place. Today is the first day I'm using the GoPro Hero 7. I do have to adjust some things. I don't know if this camera has a wind thing on it. Now, obviously, I haven't sat down and edited this video because I'm still recording it. But if it does have a wind thing on it, I might want to adjust that because I know with the last one, it was a huge difference about enameling that future or disabling that future. Feature, not future. Um, so yeah, I still have to tinker with it a little bit, but just like the gloves, <laughs> starting fresh. Starting fresh. Saving the earth today pretty well. Wow, a little windy, huh? A little windy, yeah? Wow. Wow, these have some weight to them. This must be older ones. Definitely not some cheap Costco ones, that's for sure. Well, I don't even think they have padding. It's like a plywood padding, I think. I don't know. Those have to be old. Before they even put padding on them. I guess I really don't need gloves. This is that road that like, I just park in the middle of the road because you really can't park anywhere. You guys might have just caught a glimpse of that. It's all plywood on the inside. So, it's not an antique, but if you need a trunk, you guys might be able to see that. If you need a trunk, you got yourself a trunk. All right, last stop of the day. 
one could hope there's something in this pile of stuff. This is where I found that rack that one time. It's got an ottoman. I thought it'd be full. It is full of firewood. So all this stuff is just garbage. Got a crutch there. Thought this might be a picture frame. It's not. All right. Take this for scrap metal. This is actually aluminum. Does this thing pulled off so that way it's less stuff? Oh, there we go. So I don't need this. Uh, that's about it there. Make a good walking stick. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up here. Another fun day in the books. Lots and lots of good scores. Uh, thinking this is going to be a good piece. Don't know what to ask for it. But it, it's definitely a well-made piece of furniture. It's not, you know, something that's recently made. It, it's an old piece. Uh, I got a lot of other cool things as well. Lots of scrap metal, which is, is good in its way. Because this stuff, you know, it, it's going to the landfill. It's going to fill up the landfill. But it's going to be reprocessed into maybe another chair or a lamp. Or, you know, equipment. Restaurant equipment. Workout equipment. You never know. So uh, this stuff is a lot of fun to do. This treasure hunt is a lot of fun to be a part of. Uh, if you guys haven't already, definitely subscribe because these trash picking videos come out pretty often. I do have close to 100 videos out now of uh, nothing but just going out trash picking. So if you guys are interested and you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button for future videos just like this. If you guys want to see any bonus content you haven't already, definitely follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's at taco underscore stacks. At taco underscore stacks. Uh, I do post some bonus content from time to time, as well as maybe if I don't have my camera with me, you know, a trash pick and find here and there or whatever treasure hunt that I might be on. So head over there and, and follow me on Instagram. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.